All right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. Watch a few videos, make sure you like it, but then subscribe and hit that notification bell and stick around. Now, this is a knife I purchased recently off of Amazon, but they're now available on Vosteed's website, so we'll talk about that. This is the Vosteed Raccoon. Now, this is the third raccoon I've had on the channel, so this is probably not a full review. It's just more of an overview of this knife. Um, it is in 14C28N, and this is the top liner lock with blue micarta. Now, the first two I had, I had a button lock, a plunge lock version of this knife in from my buddy Big Red EDC. Uh, then I had in a um, orange uh, aluminum uh, access style lock version of this knife that I really, really liked a lot. And this is the top liner lock. Now, for those of you hanging around the channel, you've already seen my video on the Hedgehog. Uh, definitely same deal, top liner lock, so I won't give you the whole explanation again, but I will show it. Um, and I love the Hedgehog. If you did not see that video, go check it out. This thing is fantastic. A great, great knife. Uh, love it very much. Uh, and this was my first exposure to the top liner lock from them. And they are killing it with this knife, to, this uh, blade, uh, excuse me, lock design. Um, now, what you've got, again, real quick, is you've got a compression lock or a top liner. When we open it, you can see that top liner engages with the blade. And then we have a button. And in this case, it's an actual uh, button with texturing on it, very aggressive texturing. Um, and you can see when I push the button... That liner pushes over and the blade comes unlocked. We are on bearings, so you can see this is going to be a very fidgety knife. Look at this. Now, again, what is the advantage of that liner? Instead of a plunge lock with only a spring between you and the blade deploying, we have an actual detent. And mine, um, I've heard things being said about detent lash you can see my moves a little bit but not very much uh, definitely no issues with that um, great response on the thumb studs i can also middle finger flick it my only you see that that's what i was going to warn you if you middle finger flick it on the studs i mean make sure you stay off of that button okay what you saw me do a minute ago was touch the button i gotta stay right here and then i don't hit that button and i'm good to go okay but it is great I mean, excellent action. You can see again, we are on bearings and we just drop. I mean, look at that. Stay out of the way. But again, because you're back here on the lock, you are staying out of the way. That's what you're doing. Your fingers don't go have to ever go in front uh, there unless you're gripping the knife. And that is super fantastic. Flat scales, blue micarta. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a reversible hold on, reversible deep carry pocket clip. Uh, we can uh, reverse it, of course, as I just said. Uh, you do have a little bit sticking out and you do have a lanyard hole. There's your plate. Uh, all your hardware is satin. Uh, by the way, you can do this whole thing if you enjoy that uh, as well for deployment. Now, it is dead center. Let me double check off camera. Yeah, dead center. Lockup wise, it's really hard to see, but if I had to, I'd say 12, 15 to 20 there. No blade play, no lock rock, really well locked up, like that a lot. And um, again, thumb studs only deployment, of course, unless you want to call this a deployment. Uh, but thumb studs, high, it's full flat grind, plenty of room there uh, on your sharpening choil. Now you can, we are four finger grip here. Uh, you have good jimping right here, but it is not as grippy as, as the hedgehog jimping. And uh, if you're out here, you're at the end of that jimping. Now, when you choke up, you're past the jimping, but it's fine with me. Uh, you're up here. Um, and again, be careful to stay back off that blade. But again, forefinger here, forefinger here. You are good to go with this one. And again, do you feel the clip? Yeah, but you're, you're mostly gripping around it. Good in and out of the pocket with that gr gl bleh, 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 with that um, clip. It is sitting down in the scales and has flat screws. 
no problem. Good, good clip. Again, set on the hedgehog. I think it could be just slightly tighter, uh, but it's fine. It's just me being nitpicky. Um, and again, same deal here. You have a lanyard hole, but you also have a lanyard pin. So you can choose. Uh, very cool. Good amount of um, weight reduction there. Uh, now, let's just do, what did I do with that piece of cardboard? Really, Casey? All right, we'll get another piece because I don't know what I did with it. All right, maybe this piece will be less flimsy anyway. All right, so here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. This guy is super thin. It is a slicing, slicing knife. This is fantastic. For budget, which we're going to talk about, this is a great option, guys. Right now, $65. That's what I paid for this knife. $65. Here is your comparison to the Rat 1 and the Rat 2. And then we'll put the hedgehog up here. Uh, there's your rat one and rat two. Let's move the one and put your hedgehog up here. So there are your comparisons with this knife. $65, guys. I mean, I'm not joking. This is really good. For 14C and um, Blue Micarta, it is great. Now, again, um, we are 3.25 inch blade with a 7.6 inch overall um, blade. Uh, thickness is 0.118, very thin, three millimeters. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, HRC is 60 plus two. Um, handle is 4.36 inches uh, and only 0.48 wide, so it feels great in the hand. Um, and 3.05 ounces. This is designed by you, and this is a absolute winner. Um, just really is. Now, what would I compare this to? People have asked me, um, sure. I mean, I think you could go bug out with this. Um, but again, just a way better locking system with a real detent, uh, and for $65, um, I, I don't know. I mean, you could compare it, uh, to several Kaisers out there and, and to others, I, I don't know. I don't like doing that kind of stuff when I don't have the knives in hand. I'm trying to think. Um, you know, I guess size-wise, you could compare it to a CGRB Pyrite. This is the Bowie Pyrite. It is a little taller than that. Again, the Pyrite is a, um, a button lock, a, a plunge lock, so you get a little bit of button stick, which, by the way, you get no button stick on this one. Um, but you know, both are fantastic knives and I just think Vostid has, uh, yeah, has just turned a corner and are killing it. So what do you guys think about the Vostid raccoon in the top liner lock? Again, I will leave a link down below and you can check it out on that link. These are available in different colors on Vostid's website. So I will put that down there. And if they happen to be out of stock when I, when this actually posts, I'll look for it somewhere else. But that's the plan at this point. So guys, let me know what you think down below and like this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.